This is the Phoenix, back to do another weekend energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aquarius. So let's jump into this reading and see what is happening for you guys this week. Okay, so I see change coming. For some of you, it could be an actual move from one place to the other. It could be a change in your own mindset or a change in a circumstance. There is something that you are learning right now about someone trying to take your happiness away from you. And you're in your thoughts about something. You're contemplating something. Yeah. You do hold someone in high regards though. But I think you're questioning their loyalty to you. And it is causing you some stress and anxiety. Because you feel like someone is taking something from you against your will. And it is causing you a lot of discomfort. But there are some things that you are learning about this person or about this situation. But I do see change coming between you and this person. The, the dynamic of this connection is definitely going to change very soon. Because you're starting to trust this person less. Because you think that they may actually be very deceitful and deceiving towards you. So yeah, it's like you're pulling back. There is a withdrawing of energy here. Someone's loyalty is being questioned here at this point in time. It could be in a relationship or in a friendship. But somebody's loyalty is being questioned by you, Aquarius, or they are questioning your loyalty to them. It could have to do with an Aries. But somebody is definitely taking charge of a situation. Because they suspect that something may be happening that they are not aware of. Could be you or could be them, but you are definitely not going to keep second guessing yourself when it comes to a connection. You're going to have a conversation with this person very soon, could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, that is going to straighten things out on your end. But there is something that hasn't finished yet between you and this person. So I think you're, you still have lessons to learn from this individual. But it is causing you to feel like you're trapped. You're feeling like something isn't right. And you're very angry about something. But I do see that energy transmuting and changing very soon. You could be connecting to an Aries, Leo, or Sag, but this person is more of a player energy. Someone that rushes in, offers you passion, and then leaves just as quickly. They like to sneak around. They like to be deceptive. They like to be deceiving. They use it as a game. Yeah. For some of you, you're trying to move away from this person. <coughs> Sorry, and this relationship very quickly. You're going to run when this person approaches you. It could be a cancer for some of you, or you could be actually dealing out some truths to this person. Because you cannot be this empress for them. You cannot be their spouse, their go-to person, the person that they find stability and security with. 
but I do see them rushing into you. It could be a Taurus or a Libra. But I do see someone making a decision very soon based on what they are passionate about. I see them moving towards you very quickly, wanting passion, wanting to reignite a passion with you, and wanting to offer you a new relationship. But they want it to start all over again and see where it goes. But I think you are going to deny them this opportunity because you are in this energy of ego. And instead of going into them, you're trying to run away from them. Now, you are being stubborn about something. You are being stubborn about a reconciliation, about the acceptance of a relationship. Because you don't see any great potential here. You don't see things working out between you and this person. But you feel stuck on them. But it's you blocking your own way, Aquarius. You are the one blocking your own way right now because you feel like your hands are tied in a situation. But that is just you mentally blocking your own self. Yeah. Because this person does want long-term commitment with you. They do want to give you loyalty. They do want to give you love. They do want to give you stability. But you are back and forth in your mind about the whole thing, about what decision to make. You're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with this person. You're in your ego. You can't decide what it is you truly want. You're not accepting the offer. You're not accepting the relationship. You don't want friendship with this person. But deep inside, you still want to give it a second go around. So it's like you're making the decision to withhold yourself from this person based on ego. But deep inside, you don't want them to really leave. You are hiding the way you truly feel for this person. Could be a cancer some of you are dealing with. But they want to give you commitment and long-term stability. But you are the one that have deep romantic feelings for them and you're hiding it from them. Or it could be vice versa. Because one of you don't see it going anywhere. They, you don't see it being fruitful. You don't see it coming to fruition. Because you feel hurt by this person. You feel ultimately betrayed by this person. And you cannot even think of phantom that you could be with this person again. But there are some issues that you haven't addressed yet. You need to do some work on yourself and do some self-healing because there is something that is holding you back, something that you have not dealt with as yet. But you actually do want to see where things go with this person. But you're not taking the time out to figure out exactly what it is you want from this person or what it is you want from the relationship. You're just in your ego trying to be right about an ending that you felt was unjust to you. So you're holding back, you're pulling back, you're in this energy of not wanting to open up to this individual or this person. But this person is trying and you're trying to run. It is someone from your past. It is a past connection that you are very emotional and nostalgic about. It is a soulmate or a twin flame connection. But this relationship is spiritually guided. For those of you that are educated about the twin flame union, you know this is what is happening here. When this person does contact you, you are going to be shocked. Because it's going to come out of the blue. You are going to speak to them. But you're going to feel like nothing has changed on their end. You're going to feel like the relationship is still going to be one-sided. Spirit, what is the best advice for my Aquarius in this specific connection? 
what is the best advice to my Aquarius is in this connection? The best advice to my Aquarius is in this connection. Change the way you see things. Look at things from a different point of view. Look at things from a different way. Be more childlike about your relationship. You need to cut out trying to look for the bad in this person. Because all you see is what happened before. All you see is the lessons that you had to learn. All you see is that the hurt and the pain this person brought to you. But you have to change that way about you. You have to cut it out. You have to change the way you look at this person. Because this person does want romance with you. They have changed a lot. They have done some house cleaning. And they have changed. Now they're coming back into you. Trying to offer you a relationship. But you're still afraid. Because there are some issues that you have not dealt with yet. Alright. But there is something that you're not seeing here. These emotions run deep for both you and this person. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.